Now that's an impressive wingspan. <laughs> Bits. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we got another hobby showcase for you today. So we're taking a look at a uh, artist that posts up a lot over on uh, Spiky Bits Hobbies Facebook group. Well, a lot of people post over there, but uh, this artist been eh, been posting stuff for about a year or so, probably probably longer now that I think about it. But uh, I just recently really kind of clued in on his stuff because he was doing a Sylvaneth, and I'm working on finishing up my personal Sylvaneth army. And he posted up a really great looking arch revenant with those really sick, you know, blue airbrush fades. And I just was kind of joking. I was like, yo, you want to, we want to paint up 15 of the, the Sprite revenants for me. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, I had them built. So I actually sent them over to him. And the only thing he wanted in return was for me to mention him on, on the site and shout out his Instagram page. Cause he wants 10,000 followers over there. And don't we all, <laughs> but I think, I think he's, he's getting there. He's pretty close. And at the rate he's putting stuff out, I'm sure he will get there very soon, but hopefully you guys will go over there and, uh, and give him a like or give him a follow here as well. So let's jump over to the actual post that made all this happen. And I'll show you his Instagram page because if you're not liking it, maybe you should. And then we'll take a look at the actual miniatures uh, that he finished for us. They're not based, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to base them next. So here's the post uh, that made it all happen way back from February. You can see your parts posted up this Arch Revenant. And I'm like, yo, it looks fresh. <laughs> Wanna paint some of these? And he's like, yeah, sure. I was like, hey, doesn't get any simpler than that. So here's a look at the Arch Revenant and you're gonna see uh, we're gonna actually show this. He, he sent me this miniature too. So Mark's a great guy, you know, mad, mad props. Shout out to him. Make sure you give him a follow because uh, his his work's pretty dope. But right now he just completed a uh, another really cool looking Sylvanus project, Beetle Lady. So the Instagram page I think you should follow is mb .miniature painting and you can see he's almost got six thousand followers. So let's uh, let's see what we can do to get him get him to ten k because that'll be uh, funsies right there. This is his current project he's working on, some some chaos type stuff, and uh, which is okay. And this, I'll, I really want to talk about this for a minute, because this is his uh, Beetle Lady. He was he just recently completed, he was working on the, uh, the Beetle for uh, a, bu a bunch of time, the Wardroth Beetle, but it, it all really came together perfectly. And I, I like clear resin effects. I don't feel like they're appreciated enough for the time that they take to do. You lay down the layer, you let it dry, you lay down another layer, you know, you got to paint underneath it to make that glow effect. And, and it's just a lot of work for not a lot of respect from obvious, I don't feel like. But Mark really nailed this. Uh, and I, let me see if we can find, oh yeah, here's the, uh, here's the water effects itself. Now check this out. He says he used a UV uh, cured resin, which actually is a lot simpler because you just lay it down, cure it, lay it down some more, cure it, lay down some more, cure it. So you don't have to wait like those huge overnight gaps. Just for filling like a 16th of an inch to an eighth of an inch, it's such a pain in the butt to do this. But Mark really pulled it off here. And this is the, yeah, all the other stuff's painted great. But this is the thing that's really remarkable because making these uh, these water effects happen in a, a good amount of time and pulling it off like this is really hard to do. And I think he really nailed it here. And it's really, um, you know, he's really testing the waters, <laughs> pun intended, on, on his hobby expertise right here. You know, so definitely when you're working on something, look for new ways. If you're frustrated with the way something happens, or a process takes too long, look for a quicker way, or maybe there's another technique out there, hit up YouTube, hit up Instagram, just post in a forum somewhere, you know, Facebook or otherwise, and just get some ideas before you jump into that project so you can get the most out of, out of your hobby time, right? So this is really cool, and I can't say enough good things about Alarial, uh, the new Beetle Lady that he just completed. It looks incredible. So now let's take a look at what he sent us. Okay, so first up, here is that wonderful Arch Revenant for Sylvaneth uh, that Mark had painted and he actually sent to me. I didn't expect this, so mad thank you, mad props uh, to Mark for sending this along because uh, uh, this looks way better <laughs> than Arch Revenant I did. And uh, man, I just, I love, I love, love, love the poppy colors he used. And he, did, he didn't just use airbrush, obviously he used some airbrush here to fade things. But then he went back and, you know, did some glazes, did some... Did some fine highlights, some hyper highlights here um, on all of the uh, all the wing surfaces. 
you know, all of the uh, translucent kind of type areas, the, the fey areas, so to, so to speak. And then he's got these really poppy greens, and I'm not sure, I wanna say it's a Vallejo color. I forget, I know he told me, but my, my memory isn't what it used to be. It's what happens when you get old. But, <laughs> but it looks great, it's very, very, very cool looking. And then he finished off the base with uh, some texture paint and a little bit of that UV uh, cured resin kind of into a into a pool right there. It doesn't look as good as it did on Alariel, but it still looks pretty good, definitely for sure right there. So this guy looks fresh. And then we sent him 15 built uh, Sprite, Spite, <laughs> Spite Revenants. Uh, I love this guy right here doing a little doing a little rock kind of look. And these guys who really knocked him out of the park did a little airbrushing as you can see uh, from the base itself. And then he used those really poppy colors to kind of uh, stay in a color palette, make it contrast, make it pop. And that's, you know, it's kind of like that comic book style that uh, Kenny over at Next Level Painting uh, uses. And I kind of mixed the two uh, a little bit. It, I try to do kind of more realistic and more poppy as well. And I think I think Mark really uh, nailed that here as well. So it def it's not only painted well, but it's painted in, kind of in my personal style or taste, I guess, when it comes to that. So that's why it's gonna, these guys are gonna fit right in with the uh, the rest of the Sylvaneth that, uh, that I painted too, because, uh, well, I painted some. <sighs> it's a collection at this point. <laughs> uh, speaking of bases, so I didn't have them base. Uh, these spite revenants here and there's uh, about uh, i want to say there's 15 of these bad boys uh three squads of five for my battle line uh they do a bunch of cool stuff in game but who who knows oh there's a cat here too um it's not really worth talking about because you know we've already had two editions of sylvanus so i don't really like getting into the rules but what i'm gonna do is grab my well now there's a battle is grab my handy exacto blade here and i'm just gonna oh, <laughs> slicing away from my fingers I'm going to slice off uh, the feet from one of these bases, and I'm not gonna do it on camera because I don't have my cutting pad set up. So I already did it, and you can kind of see, you know, you can slice right across the bottom right there. And then I'm gonna grab uh, some pre-made bases from Gamer's Grass. I'm switching over to using these because it's all gonna be uniform. I don't have to do any more painting. They're a little expensive. I think it, I think it's around 17, 18 bucks for the eight of these. Um, and I've showed you these here on the channel before. But for me, it's you know it's a it's a time versus reward kind of thing. I'd rather spend more time working on my models, have a nice uniform base uh, kind of set up for them, and then just go ahead and just be kind of be done with the project at that point. Like I can do this. This isn't really stretching my hobby muscles at all. I know how to do this exact setup if I really wanted to, but I'm just gonna save time at this point. And I think that's uh, kind of you know where I'm at in the hobby, and maybe maybe it's the same for you too. Um, it's not for everybody, obviously. Some people really enjoy doing their bases, and I'm just at the point where I'm just trying to knock out uh, you know completed projects in the army and army-wide uh, projects here. So these are actually really easy to attach. And I'm gonna try to do it here in real time. I'm gonna grab my magical army painter glue. Well, that's clogged, so we're not gonna do it in real time. I guess, since I have you here, now would be a good time to show you how to unclog a, a little glue bottle stoppage here. So what I like to do is I'll grab the end, the blunt end of the X-Acto blade right here. Not the, not the choppy end because the choppy end will actually start wrecking the tip of your uh, of your glue bottle, which is really bad because then you're just going to start getting smaller and smaller and allowing more and more bigger gobs of glue to actually come out. And then I'm just going to grab a paper clip and this might not actually work right here, but a lot of times it will work. Um, looks like I've had this issue in the past, but if you get a nice crisp ready to go paper clip. Uh, you can just kind of pound it down into the hole right there and usually unclog uh, your bottle pretty easily. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more on this though. Well, now that the cat has a treat and I was able to dig out the end of this paper clip, we cleared the jam right here so we are good to go. You can see right down into the bottle. So just some things to keep in mind if you, <laughs> have uh, a little bit of any uh, clogging issues with your pot of glue. Now, one of the things I'm gonna show you when I apply this glue, first, you're gonna want to get a nice solid idea of where your miniature is gonna go so you can apply the glue before you get glue all over your nice finished base. That would be bad. All right, so right there and right there. So we're just gonna put a small dollop, so to speak, of glue out right here. Now I'm squeezing down in the middle of the bottle, as you can see, oops. And what you can do to help alleviate any clogging issues is actually squeeze the sides like this and then wipe off the tip. You always gotta keep your tip clean, right? 
uh, at the end right there. And then that, with a little look and a little, you know, just kind of stand on top of it, you shouldn't have any clogging issues, but sometimes when you put the cap on, things can happen. And now we're just gonna attach the miniature like this onto the base and probably in a short amount of time, because you can actually attach uh, miniatures to the tufts and things too from Gamers Grass. It's actually kind of really cool how they make it all together. Uh, let's see some glue stick in. Sometimes it takes a minute. Yeah, it's gonna take a minute, so we'll be right back. And here he is, all glued down to the base, looking super fresh. Can't wait to get the rest of my army uh, based with these Gamer Grass bases. They're gonna look very, very cool. I might add, I might add some uh, autumn leaves or something like that. I'm not exactly sure yet, but this is a good starting point. I feel like for uh, tabletop quality, getting them on uh, the table and playing here in the near future when we can actually do so. Um, the cat is back. All right, hi, Annie. So that is it for this one. Thank you very much uh, to Mark for painting these up to finish off our Sylvanith uh, collection. Make sure you give him a follow over on Instagram. It's mb.miniaturepainting. Uh, he's got all sorts of stuff going on, and I'm sure when he gets his Gazgol and his Ragnar, he's got some Space Wolves going on over there already, that uh, there will be lots more glorious miniatures uh, to check out here in the near future going into summer. So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.